Yo, what's up? Coach E here from Precision Movement, and today I've got an advanced IT band stretch for you. Okay, so I've got a question from a few different followers asking for IT band stretches, and I wrote a blog post up about it, but I also had to shoot this new video for you to share a new exercise that you might not have tried before. Okay, so the blog post is going to be linked at the end if you want a couple more ideas, a couple more basic exercises, but in this video we're going to go through the reverse cross under and reach. Okay, so this is a dynamic exercise, so it's a dynamic mobility exercise, and because it's dynamic mobility, you can use it as part of your warm up. Okay, you can do it at night, you can do it whenever. It's a great exercise to do just to stay loose and mobile. And what it's gonna do is not just gonna stretch the IT band, but it's gonna mobilize the whole lateral line from the knee pretty much to the elbows, okay, and everything in between. So we're getting an IT band, we're getting quadratus lumborum, obliques, lats and triceps. All that stuff's gonna be mobilized, all right? So part one of the technique is the cross under. So you're stepping back like a reverse lunge, cross under lunge, curtsy lunge, okay? So you can practice that a few times just to get the cross under. Front foot stays flat, that's key. So you get that mobilization in through the hip and the IT band. The second part is the arm drive. So when I step back with my right, I'm gonna reach up with my right and over. Okay, step back with my left, reach up with my left, and lean over, okay? Now, you don't wanna have a sloppy, lazy arm. So this is what a sloppy, lazy arm looks like, and this is what a really good arm looks like. Can you see the difference there? So the difference is when I'm reaching, when I'm sloppy, I'm just kinda of lifting the arm up. When I'm doing it properly, I'm extending the arm up and driving it up and over. Same with the torso, I'm extending the torso up and over, okay? Up and over. So I wanna get long first and then bend second, all right? That's how you're gonna get the greatest effect with this technique, all right? So you wanna do anywhere from six to 10 reps per side. And like I said, you can add it in as part of your warm up. Great way to get the full body mobilized. So if, whether you're doing leg day or arm day, upper body day, it doesn't matter. Great technique to add in, all right? Now, like I said, you can also check out other techniques for the IT band that I like to use on the blog post at precisionmovement.coach and hit up the site because we help you eliminate pain, recover from and prevent injuries and improve mobility. So if you're looking for any of those things, check it out and you'll find what you're looking for. All right, see you next time, peace.